so guys uh, welcome to this tutorial and um today i want to show you how you can uh, use the das character uh, from uh das studio which um this das studio that i have here which is uh, free if you want to get das studio you can come here let me show you so if i like i like das das d a z studio download uh you will get it for free like you can come here register and the advantage of does is that you uh, can use it uh, with uh, uh, Breda which is also free you can use it from Maya 3D Mass Cinema 4D and Unreal Bridge so uh, you can check it on your own so I wanted to show you how you can use it to make character and you export those character to the Unreal uh, to the uh, character creator 3 so let's go so this is does here and i whatever i, wa I want to, to start so i'll just come here and you if you do download darts before i continue i want to show you you have this one here where it will ask you to install everything that you need to install so le i'm just waiting for this one to open uh, so I uh, don't want to update at the moment so it asked me to sign in and whatever so I can just come here and I I hope I have not forgotten my password so if I've forgotten I'll have to skip this because sometime yeah so uh So it is asking me to update. So I'll show you in a separate video when I'm logged in and uh, everything is updated. So you just need to come here to the Dust Central. This is a installer, and then you can use it to have this uh, Dust Studio Pro. So this is Dust Studio. So everything. So I'll, I'll make a separate video when I finish everything. So I just need to make a character. So I, I will come here. And I'll choose one of those characters. So this one will not take long. It depends with how fast your computer is. So uh, I'm waiting for this one. So you have this character, and like you can see here, there are animations, there are everything. So you can check this character whether it can. So if you put it, you can see that this character can walk. There are so many things like you can check those are just the previews of what you want to see uh yes let me just update so uh then i i it just came to figures i choose the character then i can just go to here i can choose this here this is what i want to use then i go to the material and let me just choose this one this is just a tutorial to see how we can so I just, I'm just trying to make a quick character that we can use it on our. So now you have this character. And now if you come back to animation, we can see how our character look like. So um, now I want to dress my character. I'll just come to the wardrobe. And I was trying to look whether there is some... Um, let me just see this one out to look on him. No, but I, 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 I'm thinking maybe I'll just have to let me go back. You can come here and say undo. That was not good. So let do. So let me just go back to the material and I'll put my color back. I hope it works because that one. Oh. So uh, sorry for that one. So yeah, like you have this color there 
and I might decide to lay my character the same way he is. So we can try to check whether we have some more things here like poses. We can check on the poses where how he look like when like when he is like that way. And I would like to come here and I rotate because I want to see him in all. So we can see those poses. So I would like to leave him on the T pose. Or I can just come here and uh, I do the pose. So this is our character that we have. And I'm trying to check whether we have some like I don't I don't want to put it something like I want to, let me try this on how he, how he look on it. So let me delete this one. No. Uh, undo delete. So for this tutorial, let me first of all leave him like that way or we can, I can do this one. I can just come here and let me just delete everything. We can and also delete this one, select and come here and delete. So we come back to our figure. We choose this finger here. And then we come back to our hair and we choose this here. And we come to the material and we can choose this one here. And now we come back and now we want to our add drop and we can put him this one here and I wanted him to have like um, oh this one is better yeah good so we have our character here so now I'll ha on this video I'm going to export this character on the next video I'm going to export this character so what I, I have to do is that I'll have to come here and I go to the export and what I do is that because I need this character, so I like to save. So I'll first of all, go on to the uh, desktop. I go to my, let me just say 3D exchanger. And here I'll have to show FBX. And so here I can just light like this one is does a uh, character so that I fight him when I go back. So then I, I save this one to ask this one and uh, a figure and light props. Mm -hmm. Let me just choose props and I was trying to check whether there is something like clothes where I can. So here they are showing what you it will be important. So I just say accept. And when it exported now on the next video, I'm going to show you how you can. So now you have your character exported to confirm this one. I'll just come here and I'll go to my folder. So this is was 3D exit. So let me just check where it is. Mm -hmm. This is not good because I'm not seeing this folder here. Oh, oh this one here. And I want to check whether my character is here. No.
something that is missing here so let me just do this and again i want to s confirm that i exported this character so this one was 3d exchange and here i load our uh, does character fpx autodex or whatever Yeah, we have that one and then space and then accept so i want to confirm whether this one maybe i don't not save on this folder that's why i don't find it there so let's see so now we can check back yeah now we have our character here so for the next video i'm going to show you how you are going to import this character to your character creator 3 and icron so bye for now